how to get free $100 Kamatera trial cloud credits, and how to create a Kamatera cloud server or virtual private server, VPS. First, open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to Kamatera. It will give you $100 in free cloud credits to try out Kamatera's cloud servers free for 30 days. I'll put my referral link in the video description below so that you can click on it for your convenience. Once you've clicked on my referral link, navigate to the top right hand corner and click on get started. Here you'll need to create a free Kamatera account. Enter in your email address and pick a password for your Kamatera account. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so I've entered in my email address and now I'm going to choose a password. Once you've done that, click on create free account. You'll then need to validate your email address. You'll need to find Kamatera's email that they sent you in your email address inbox and click on the link to validate your account. So I'll be back with you in just a moment once I've done that. Okay, I'm back. I've clicked on the validation link. It opened up a new tab in my browser and it then took me to the Kamatera console page where it successfully created my account. Next, what we need to do is add our billing details. So I'm going to click on add billing profile. Now I just need to enter some personal information here so I'm going to blur that out for my own privacy. You'll need to do the same. So I'll be back with you when I'm ready to click on next. Okay so my account information has been filled in. I'm going to click on next. At the top you can see promo code and the promo code is 11300. This promo code includes 30 days of free usage, one cloud server of up to $100 of cloud credits, a terabyte of cloud block storage and a terabyte of outgoing internet traffic also known as bandwidth. Next you'll need to add your credit card information. Now you might be wondering why do I have to add my card information and that is for for verification purposes to verify your account. So a small amount of up to $2, no charges will apply. You will not be charged during the first 30 days unless you exceed the free trial promo. So remember the free trial promo is $100. So I'm just going to enter my card details here and I'll be back with you once I'm ready to click on finish. Of course, I'm going to be blurring this as this is my private information. Okay, so I've entered in my card information. I'm now ready to click on finish. It may take up to 60 seconds for Kamatera to finish processing your billing details. If you're unlucky or unfortunate like myself, Kamatera will be unable to verify your account, which means that your billing details have not been added to Kamatera and you'll need to try again. So I'm going to click on close here and I'm going to try again to add my billing details by clicking on finish once again. And as you can see, again, unfortunately, Kamatera was unable to add my billing details once again. So that was my second attempt in trying to add my billing details to my Kamatera account. Now, if I try a third time, which I'm going to do now by clicking on close again and then finish, Kamatera will greet you with another notification message. So if you're having problems adding your billing details to your Kamatera account, you must try three times unsuccessfully to be greeted with the following notification window. Now, if Kamatera took your billing details first time around, then you don't need to worry about any of this. So as you can see, Kamatera says it regrets to inform us that our account has been placed on lock status due to repeated attempts to process our credit card. So in my case, I will need to make a prepayment for their services. So once I click close here, I'll be redirected to the billing deposit page. So I'm going to click on close now. And there we go, Kamatera has taken us to the following billing profile page where we'll need to make a prepayment. So here Kamatera says, we occasionally request a fully refundable security deposit when our system detects unusual billing activity such as multiple card attempts. Submitting the deposit immediately unlocks full service and the amount can be refunded or applied to future invoices. So if you're in the same situation, you'll probably need to deposit the minimum $10 to unlock the account to receive the $100 in free trial credits. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to click on deposit funds. This time we have a payment method of credit card or PayPal. I'm going to go with PayPal as it's more straightforward. I'm going to go with $10, which is the minimum amount. And I'm going to click on deposit. Now I'm just going to log into my PayPal and make the payment. So I'll be back with you once I've done that. Of course, while I'm making the $10 PayPal deposit, I'll be blurring all my personal and private information. Again, I'll be right back with you once the deposit has been made. And there we go. PayPal payment success. You have successfully deposited $10. I'm going to click on close now. And if we scroll down, we will now have in fact have the 30 day $100 free trial credits. And you can confirm this by scrolling all the way to the bottom. So you can see your account quota here is zero out of two servers. You're allowed to have 15 server creations, a maximum server price of $100 and 15 IP addresses. Great. So let's begin by creating our first cloud server. So I'm going to click on my cloud on the top left hand side here, and then I'm going to click on create new server. We'll need to choose a zone or a region to set up your VPS in, which is a virtual private server. You've got Asia, Australia, North America, Europe, and the Middle East. Let's go with Europe. 
for this video demonstration and I'm going to select Frankfurt, Germany. Once you've chosen your zone, scroll down until you see where it says choose an image. You have server OS images, desktop OS images, app images, service images, my private images. So you've got a lot of images here. I'm going to go with server OS images. I'm going to scroll down a bit and select Ubuntu. I'm going to choose the version of Ubuntu. I'm going to go with 24.04 64-bit version, which is called Noble. It's the latest version of Ubuntu at the time of recording of this video. Next, I'm going to scroll down until I see the choose server specs. You've got server type from B to A. B is general, dedicated is D, burstable is T, and availability is A. A server type is the cheapest, so I'm going to click on A. I'm going to go with a low spec server for this video demonstration, so CPU 1, RAM 1 gigabyte, and SSD disk space 10 gigabytes. You can select the appropriate server specs that you want. At the bottom here, you can see the current monthly billing price, which at the time of recording for this video is $4 a month. You can also click on the circle here to go with hourly billing cycle. And as you can see, it's 0 0.0005 cent an hour. I'm going to go with the hourly billing cycle as it's approximately 3.65 USD a month, which is cheaper than the $4 a month plan. So I'm going to click on hourly billing cycle. Next, I'm going to scroll down. You've got daily backup. I'm going to leave this untoggled. Management services. Again, I'm going to leave this untoggled. I'm going to leave the networking as it is. I'm keeping it on simple mode. Advanced configuration. I'm going to leave it as hidden. And then we need to finalize our settings. So we need to pick a root password for our server. So I'm just going to do that now. And then I'm going to validate that password. And then we'll need to choose a name for our server. So I'm going to call this new-test-server. If the server name isn't available, you can keep trying different names until a name is available. Again, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll get the billing cycle and pricing information. You can adjust your payment cycle type to monthly or leave it as hourly billing cycle once again. So you have the option to change your mind if you want. Once you're ready to create your server, click on create server. I'll be back with you once Kamatera has created our cloud server. You can see that the creation of the server is marked as a task and is queued at the bottom left hand corner. Again, I'll be back with you once our server is up and running. I'm just going to click on that to see how we're getting along with the creation process. So you can see the status is currently at 70%. I'll be back with you once the status reaches 100 and our server is up and running. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, the server status says success. And at the very top, you can see our server is up and running. To log into your server via the SSH protocol, click on the actions button next to your server. Now I'm going to be using the console provided by Kamatera. Of course, you can use your own client side SSH console if you want, but I'm going to be using Kamatera. So I'm going to click on this and it will open up a new browser tab for the Kamatera console. At the very top, it says login as. So we're going to be logging in as root, then hit enter on your keyboard. And then you're going to want to enter in your root password that you created when you were making your Kamatera server. Once you've typed in your password, hit enter again on the keyboard. And there we go. If we scroll down, you can see we have successfully logged into our server via SSH. And we can now begin entering commands into our Kamatera cloud server. And that pretty much concludes this video on how to get $100 in Kamatera trial cloud credits and how to create a Kamatera cloud server or virtual private server VPS. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so I to let you go?